I'm John Holcomb with Walnut Grove Farms. Um, we're a fifth generation grain farm. We farm, we raise corn, wheat, soybeans, uh, barley, a little bit of rye. My dad uh, built the first grain facility that we had and put in a shiver system about 40 years ago. And so now we have two shivers drying systems at two different sites. Primarily, the, the end users that we work with directly are um, in the distilling industry and uh, a little bit too in the brewing industry. Um, and they're really focused on quality. And so whether that's looking at barley and trying to make malt grade with Kentucky grown Marley, <laughs> Kentucky grown barley, um, or talking about you know specialty corn varieties that we that we grow and, and identity preserve for the distilling industry, um, quality is the is the real focus. One of the key factors that we've learned is it's not just how you produce the crop in the field. After you get it harvested, you still have to be really careful with it once you put it in the bin, and you can have the perfect quality malting barley before it, you know, in the field, and you can still mess up the germination, you know, if you put it in a dryer and dry it too fast. That's one thing that's nice about the shiver system is we can we can manage uh, with with all of the technology that it has. We can we can really manage. Um, how fast we dry and, and you know preserve the quality of the grain at the same time. To us, the biggest advantage to the shiver system is the versatility. I mean, we really, uh, with the variety of crops that we grow, and the fact that you know, as with agriculture in general, everything is about timing, and so you know we end up drying a majority of the crops that we harvest. The shiver system allows us to bring in you know the small grains. It allows us to dry corn and we have the opportunity to you know, either focus on high capacity throughput or we can focus on you know, if we need to dry something slowly to preserve uh, germ, then we can do that too. Um, and then at the end of the year, you know, we're at the, at the end of the harvest season, we can turn around and use the bin for storage also. So um, it really comes down to versatility to us.